Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall show you the improvements made to play mode and playback in Dorico 3, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Do look out for the video I've made about custom playback templates, one of the new features of Dorico 3 that allows you to save configurations of sounds used by particular instruments and recall them for any other project. There's lots of detail to discuss, so I gave it its own video. First, a few small but powerful improvements to how you work with MIDI in Dorico. You can now connect a MIDI input device while Dorico is running and use it straight away for note input. You'll know the input device is connected properly and has been recognized by the green indicator light that Dorico now displays when you press notes or activate other controls on your MIDI keyboard. It can also help diagnose problems, as if the green light is on continuously it will suggest that your computer is being flooded with MIDI messages. It can be very useful to play notes on your MIDI keyboard when you're not in note input. Now, Dorico uses the most recent staff selection to determine the sound it plays back with. You can also select a track in play mode. There's also a new Enable MIDI Through option on the Play page of Preferences that can prevent hearing sounds echoed back when using a MIDI keyboard with its own sounds. A limitation to previous versions of Dorico was that once you've made a change to how any sound was being routed or what was loaded in the VST panel, it stopped the automatic loading of sounds for new instruments. That's no longer the case in Dorico 3, and you can make any necessary changes and the playback template will still know how to allocate sounds when you add a new player. Furthermore, if you do have some instruments without a valid endpoint assignment, the Load Sounds for Unassigned Instruments command in the Play menu now does exactly that. While we're talking a bit about VST instruments, you'll notice each VST is now numbered in the panel, making it easier to route instrument tracks to the correct instance and you can even give each one a custom name in its endpoint setup dialog. We've made it possible for each voice belonging to an instrument to be routed to a separate endpoint. This means Dorico is now able to handle more complex playback requirements, such as when a violin section divides to solo and gliotri. Let me show you how it works. In this example, the violinist is required to keep playing these high octave notes while plucking the G and D strings. With Dorico already using the normal arco sound, it's not able to use the pizzicato sound as well. However, as the arco and pitz music are in different voices, we can use Dorico's new independent voice playback to solve this. Switch to play mode and open the Violin 1 instrument track header. We can see that it is being routed to the Halion Sonic SE VST on channel 1 and we can see the violin solo combi patch in use there as expected. On the track header, we can enable this new control to switch on independent voice playback. That allows us to switch between the two voices found in use on that violin staff. Switching to the up stem voice one displays just the music in that voice. And we can see that it is still rooted to the same channel. Switching to down stem voice one shows us just the music for that voice, the one with the pizzicato notes. And we can see that Halion Sonic SE has loaded another violin solo combi, and Dorico is routing the second voice to it. When we display the playing techniques lane, we can see that the expression map is recognizing the switch to pizzicato. If we play back now, we can hear both the arco and pitz sounds being played. Let's have a look at another example. In this project, we have a violin instrument with a division event dividing it into two sections. By default, the music on both staves is routed to the same endpoint. However, by enabling independent voice playback, a second violin patch is loaded into Halion Sonic SE, and Dorico has some intelligence built in to select the violin 2 sound for some variants. 
As an added complication, we have a second flow in this project, where the violin section divides again, but this time to solo Angliotri. Let's switch back to play mode to see how we control playback for this situation. Firstly, let's select flow 2. Now, we don't want to upset what we have already configured for flow 1, so we can click this button, and now what we set here will affect just this specific flow, rather than all flows. Of course, Dorica has set the playback for the two voices in the same way as before, so we need to configure this ourselves a little. In this case, we want the voice from the Gliolchi staff, which is labelled in the drop-down here as upstem voice 2, to the violin's 1A combi, which is on channel 1. We need a solo violin sound for the voice on the first staff, which we can load into slot 3 in Halion Sonic SE and route the voice to it. And if we play back both flows, one after the other, you'll hear the sounds used to play the different staves is different for each flow. The possibilities here are many, and you'll find a number of situations where it proves really useful. For example, you could use independent voice playback for setting up the different registers of an organ, and make the most of some of the outstanding sample libraries on offer. To help give you even more control over playback, we've added a MIDI note velocity editor to the play mode tracks. This gives you detailed control over the MIDI velocity of individual note events, and using the existing tools in the play toolbox, you can easily make sweeping changes. Reset MIDI velocity by opening the play menu and choosing Reset Playback Overrides. Just be aware, however, that this will reset all overrides, including any played duration edits you might have made. Finally, Pitch Bend has been added to the MIDI controller editor. This works in exactly the same way as editing other MIDI controllers. It's just a bit more fun. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.